Hello, welcome to another video on using Smartsheet. Today, I'm going to show you how you can take a name column and an email column and use that information to create a contact list column. So, if you have a sheet with both of these columns, you want to first start a new column and we'll call it contact list and notice we're going to keep it as a text number type um, i'll show you why that is uh, through, in this video eventually we'll convert it to a contact list column but first we have to to start with it as a text number column so the first thing you want to do is get the name and email information into this cell in the contact list column. And it has to be in a specific format that I'll show you. I already have the formula written, so I'll, I'll paste it in there and I'll, I'll talk about it here. So in order for this to be in the proper format for Smartsheet to recognize this as a Smartsheet contact entry, um, you have to uh, put it in this format where you have the name of the contact and then you can concatenate that with a space and then open an angle bracket and then you put in the email that you want and you end this text string with um, a closing angle bracket and so when you do that your field will look like this where you have the name and you have the email a space between the name the first and last name specifically uh, you're gonna have the first and last name and then space and the um, email in these brackets here and so i'll go ahead and i'll i'll drag this down for these other rows um, obviously if you have a lot bigger sheet um, you could use a column formula that would be the most efficient way uh, but in this in this small example i just drug the formula down. Okay, so now that you have the contacts with their name and email in this text format, all you have to do is change this column to a contact list and hit OK. And then you need to save it. And then all of them now show up as a smart sheet contact. So um, you could Go ahead and send out emails, alerts from this row, um, and do everything else you can with a, a smart sheet contact. Um, you know, a good use case for this is, let's say you have a lookup table. In this case, I made this a few employees. I have an employee ID. So if you have another sheet, you could look for the employee ID and pull in their contact information. Um, now, one thing I want to go over is um, you have to convert this back into a text column if you want to add more contacts. Um, if you try to add a name here um, and then put their email in, you see it doesn't convert automatically to uh, a column even if I save it. So the way around that is we convert this back to a text column and then we convert it back to a contact list column, save it, and there you go. Your new entry is now a contact also. So just remember that um, if you want to add new entries, convert the contact list column back to a text. And then when you're done adding entries, convert it back to a contact list. 